Hey, this is Pastor Mike. Thanks for joining me for Perk Stream on October 18th, 2023. Let's hear Jesus clearly above the noise. Hey, thanks for stopping by and spending some time with me. Looking forward to our time together here. You know, one thing I don't want Perkstream to be is a noisemaker in your life. I want it to be encouraging, and I want it to be something that directs you back to the one true voice, and that is Jesus. As we started a new sermon series called Above the Noise, one of the things that we were looking at is this one phrase that Jesus repeats over and over for John to write down, and that is, he who has an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. And I think this is very important because our world has a lot of things that it's trying to tell us. It's trying to tell us this is what is true. This is what is right. This is what is proper. And you need to hear us and do things our way. There's also the voices inside of us that are voices that uh, tell us who we should be or who we think we are or what the expectations are. And there's a voice above all those voices. It's the voice of Jesus. It's the voice of Jesus whose voice is true, whose word is true. And I know that we probably know that inside. We, we hear it and we go, I believe that's true. But you know, and when we say, but you know, what we're saying is reality around us seems more real than the reality within us and the reality of the supernatural you know, wherever heaven is, that just doesn't seem very real. I want to encourage you to say that, that that world, that kingdom that Jesus said is coming is very real and is upon us. And we can hear the noise of that kingdom above the noise of this world. And that comes from the voice of Jesus. And the voice of Jesus is the voice that speaks as the one who was dead and is alive again, who walks among the candlesticks, which means he knows the churches and he knows where we are at. And so the question is, what are we going to do to hear the voice of the Lord? What are we going to do to get his voice to be the primary voice, the most important voice, the voice we trust and have the most confidence in? And my way of doing that is make sure I'm in the scripture daily. In other words, I don't listen to other voices until I've listened to the voice of God through the word that he has given us, his inspired word. Taking time to do that and to breathe in that word and read that word will help us displace those other noises. The other thing, it's a new practice for me, and that is a practice of stillness. Um, I have this journal. I open it up. I leave it uh, open, and I just try to still my thoughts, which that alone probably takes a good chunk of time. But then as I have stilled myself and asked the Holy Spirit who lives in me and who also lives in you to speak to my heart, things begin to come into place and, and his voice displaces the noise around me. You know, one of the ways I've seen that happen is just recently I felt, um, I felt like somebody had slighted me. And, and in this slight, I felt, uh, I felt like I needed to go confront that but then by listening to the Holy Spirit and opening up what I was reading in the Proverbs that day, it's the glory of kings to overlook an offense. And the Spirit said, you know what, this, this one, this is no big deal. Just let it go. Just let it go. So I'm encouraging you to listen to the Holy Spirit. Listen to what he is saying to the churches. Listen to what he's saying to you and let his voice be over all the noise. Let us hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. So I hope you have a great day and a great week. Uh, get into the word, listen for the Spirit's voice with you, and I'm looking forward to the stories that will come out of that. God bless you. Have a great week. Mm -hmm.